So here we have another dynamics problem, which is going to illustrate part of Newton's third law, which is the action-reaction law. What we have are two sleds, two toboggans, which are attached by a rope and then being pulled by an applied force of 100 newtons applied to the front sled. There is 40 newtons of friction on each sled, and the question asks us, A, find the acceleration of the whole, the whole train, and B, find the tension in the rope, the one that connects the two, the two sleds. So to find the acceleration of the whole system, we obviously have to draw a free body diagram of the whole system. So I will do that here. The total mass is 20 kilograms. Is there gravity? Yes, of course, Fg. It's on the ice or the snow, so there is a normal force, Fn. External forces. There's an applied force of 100 newtons to the right. And in response to that, there is a friction force. And the force of friction is 40 on each, so in the whole system there will, of course, hopefully be 80 newtons of friction. So which way is it accelerating? It's accelerating to the right. I will call that x. Up is y. A is to the right. <clears throat> in the x direction, Newton's laws tells me that Fa minus Ff equals Ma. And rearranging, I get A equals 100 minus 80 divided by 20, which is 1 meter per second squared. So the acceleration of the entire system is 1 meter per second squared. What is the tension in the rope? Well, now that we know the acceleration, we'll draw a free body diagram of just one sled or the other. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to do both anyway. But the easier one is the one at the end. And I think you'll see why it's easier once I've drawn it. 10 kilograms is their gravity, yes, of course, Fg. There's a normal force still. Now there's a tension to the right, and there's a force of friction opposing the motion, but it, of course, is only 40 newtons. Again, x is going to be to the right, because this thing is accelerating to the right. In the x direction, T minus FF equals MA, which means tension equals 10 kilograms times 1 meter per second squared plus 40 newtons, which equals 50 newtons. So the force that's required in the rope to pull the second sled is 50 newtons, which is half of the 100 newtons, which is pulling the whole train, which hopefully makes sense. But just to double check, I'm going to also draw a free body diagram of the first box. It has a mass of 10 kilograms. Is there gravity? Yes, of course. The force of gravity is down. It too has a normal force, Fn. Pulling on it is an applied force of 100 newtons opposed by tension T and by the force of friction which is newtons. And I think you can see why this one is slightly more complicated than this one. There's just more forces to keep track of. You're more likely to make a mistake if you pick this one. But if you do it properly, hopefully, as we'll see, you'll get the right answer. The x direction, the y direction, the acceleration is to the right. I'll call that positive. Now, looking in the x direction, we apply Newton's law again. Fa minus T minus Ff equals Ma. Rearranging and substituting, I'll find that tension is equal to Fa, which is 100 newtons, minus the force of friction, which is 40 newtons, minus 10 kilograms times 1 meter per second squared, which is 10 newtons. 100 minus 40 minus 10 is, lo and behold, 50 newtons. As we can see, the tension pulling to the left on the first box of 50 is equal to the tension pulling to the right on the second box. They have to be equal. That's Newton's third law. If the rope pulls to the left on one thing, the thing pulls to the right on the rope with the same force. They've got to balance it. 